Now then my friends, in today's vlog, I am in the Mayfair of the North. That's right, I am in Harrogate in West Yorkshire. Now you may think that London has it all. You're gonna tell me, well, London's got the Ivy restaurant and we can have tea at the Ritz. Well, West Yorkshire and Harrogate can go one better than that because it has its own, its very own Ivy restaurant. That's right. And also, if you're after afternoon tea, it's got the best afternoon tea in the world. That's right, at Betty's Tea Rooms, famous for their afternoon teas for years on end. It's historic and all their product, or so I'm told, or most of it, is from Yorkshire. That's right, Yorkshire, because they know what they like and they like what they bloody well say. I can say that, can't I? I've got Yorkshire children. Anyway, moving swiftly on, if you like parks and open spaces, it is surrounded by them. And you've also got the Yorkshire countryside for walking as well. Also, here as well, it has its own Turkish baths. So if you like to pamper yourself, then you're in luck. And also, if you like a bit of shopping as well, it is not short of shops. Your credit card will be on fire. We're going to go and take a look around today. We've got the weather on our side, so I'm pretty excited about this. It looks really nice. I've just driven through it. Before we dive in, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. Follow me on Instagram, which is down there. And if you want to get your MacMaster merchandise as well, that's down there as well. Now, without further ado, my friends, let's go. Okay, so up here on my right hand side, as we're walking up towards Betty's and the Ivy, we've got the Turkish baths of Harrogate. Take a look. Okay, and right next door to the Turkish baths, after you've uh, pampered yourself, you've got the Winter Gardens, which is a, uh, which is a spoons, a weather spoons, right here just right behind me. And over the road, you've got Gino Sheffield de Campos, just over there. Right, moving on. Come on, onwards. Got a massive queue there for Wagamamas. That is crazy. Absolutely crazy. Right here on my right hand side is the world famous Ivy restaurant. Take a look. Okay, so that is the Ivy. Now on the right hand side here, you've got the world famous Betty's Tea Rooms. There is a uh, quite a big queue here. This is a really, really nice place. Now I've been to Betty's Tea Rooms. Make sure that you book. Their afternoon tea is second to none. Take a look. Now, right behind me here, you've got the spirit of Harrogate where you can get your Slingsby gin. That's right, Harrogate even has its own gin. Take a look in the window. And right next door to the spirit of Harrogate, you've actually got the Blues Cafe Bar. And upstairs, they've got a green room which uh, serves gin. Might have to take a look at that later. Come on. I'm going to 
take a walk over the road because there's a, there's a tree that um, celebrates the uh, Tour de Yorkshire. It's got a little Eiffel Tower on it as well. Let's take a look at this. This is great. Let's have a look. Okay, so I've done a bit of research. Well, I haven't actually, I've just Googled it. <laughs> 2014, the Tour de France actually started right here in Yorkshire. So uh, just look at the little Eiffel Tower though. I mean, how cool is that? It really has got a nice, just calm feeling to it. You've got all the really, really nice bars and restaurants, but just with a calmness surrounding it. Just take a look at this view here. Okay, I'm going to take a walk down here and just check out what's down this way. The town centre itself is back there and we're going to go up there after. I'm just curious to see what shops are down this way. Just shop after shop. Lots of designer labels. Come on. Let's get moving. I mean, look at everybody sat outside. Got the men Montpellier here, look. Look at this. over here Jenny's uh, tea shop I think they do afternoon teas as well and I can tell you the cars that I've seen here you can tell you can tell that there is money here I've seen BMWs Porsches Range Rovers even seen one Ferrari literally uh, they uh, like uh, to spend the cash up here <sighs> I just want to explore come on come on come on Arrogant wines there. I think I, I think I'll stick to uh, I think I'll stick to Lidl and Aldi. <laughs> Don't want to buy a piece of history. Right, we've got the potting shed over here, which looks like another. Oh, it's the Winter Gardens. This is the back of the Winter Gardens pub. Look at this. Just look. Harrogate, by the way, is not short of um, hotels. Plenty of places to stay. Some really, really nice hotels. Um, personally, this one would be uh, more my style. The travel lodge uh, right in the, the centre of Harrogate. I think that's more for me. Anyway, come on, onwards. So this here behind me is the Crown Hotel. I'm told that this is a really, really nice place to stay as well. And again, you're right in the heart of it. There is so much to explore and see around Harrogate. You've literally got the green open spaces and that Yorkshire uh, greenery. But then together with all your designer shops, your bars and your restaurants. What a great day out, and if you've got the weather like this, superb. 
Come on, onwards my friends. Okay, so I've pretty much gone in a circle there and I want to head back up here past um, the ivy on my right and Betty's Tea Rooms and hang a left into the town centre and I want to go and find out what shops there are there. Told, lots of designer shops, plenty to choose from, so we'll go and see. Now, I have seen um, walking around and it said a free tour, free tour guide. Uh, there was a guy with a board saying free tour guide. I've not seen him again. I, when I parked up, I saw him. So might be worth checking that out because uh, if you've got short for time and you want to see what uh, is around um, Harrogate, then definitely check up on that free tour. Now, what I've stopped for is when you're walking around, don't just look at your eye level. Look up at, at the architecture because there's some superb architecture on these buildings. Take a look at this. Try and run over without getting knocked over. Oh. If you're gonna get knocked over though, might as well be with a Ferrari or a Range Rover. Just kidding. Come on, onwards. Got Harrogate Theatre here. I was like looking at these signs actually. Open 1900. 1900. That's unbelievable. Right, carrying onwards. I just love exploring new towns. I did actually do a recce of, uh, of Harrogate though a few days ago. Came with the family. And um, if you're going on a Sunday, I believe it's free parking. So uh, that's even better. Okay, I'm going to go this way underneath here look look at the street I love all them little pots with the, uh, with the tops on them. Oh, really nice. Coffee shop here. Okay, so it's got its own shopping centre as well. I'm not gonna go in there. I'm uh, pretty sure you're not supposed to film in there, but uh, lots of shops in there as well. Come on, onwards.
Oh, better not film Queen Victoria. She's not amused. Do you get it? <laughs> Come on, onwards. I just love all them little gardens that you walk through right in the middle of the town itself. Really nice and quaint. Got the library here. I feel like I've gone a bit off the beaten track there, so I'm going to walk back down towards the centre part and uh, head back towards where Betty's is to finish off the vlog. Don't want to get knocked over again. Seems to be a theme here. And what a lovely day for this. When England does have some nice weather, it really is unbeatable. But it's just very few and far between. Forecast rain again for tomorrow. Oh. Now I was telling you about cars and the nice cars that you've got in Harrogate. You've got a McLaren F1 here, which is probably around about mm, a bit of loose change in your pocket. I think I can just afford it. I think it's about 300,000 pound. Yeah, I'll have two. Wrong color for me. I'd black before. Terrible to keep it clean. Wouldn't have it if you'd given me that. Put in a different colour. Silver maybe. Okay, and on the right here you've got a little Bentley. Look, look at this one. A Bentley convertible. I told you, it is the Mayfair of the North. Okay, walking around here, let's see what else there is. You've got a Jules, which is a really nice shop. Actually met the gentleman uh, who uh, owns Jules, who runs it. Here it is. And he is a very nice guy. I filmed him for a corporate uh, video that I did. You've got Hobbs, Hotel Chocolat, Lakeland, Paper Chase, take a look. Even got a Joe Malone look if you want a 50 pound candle or whatever they are. Molten brown as well. Now, a friend of mine, old friend of mine, used to. Uh, we used to judge how good 
a hotel it actually is. If it doesn't have Malton Brown in the toilets, it's not worth staying there. Oh, what is this? This looks like the pin in Washington, but a lot smaller. and uh, back over to uh, Betty's Tea Rooms and the Ivy again. I'm going to quickly show you the park. I can't remember the name of the park. I'm going to Google it for you in a moment. There's a lovely little park area. Um, I brought my seven-year-old daughter at the weekend. There's uh, children's uh, play areas. So if you've got kids, ideal place to bring them as well. Come on, onwards. Taking it, I'm taking it that the woman who owns this Range Rover is a bit hairy. Not after though. <clears throat> right, so the park that we're going to go and have a look at um, is Valley Gardens um, and it's got a it's just really really nice place. There's even a boat in Lake. I, I uh, watched the uh, boats, remote control boats at the weekend. Superb. There's a motor, guy with a motorboat. It's really good. Right, again, run over without getting knocked over. Oh, past the Crown Hotel again. Just got the roundabouts as well. I mean, look how well kept they are. You've got the council guy here, the gardener's out, looking after them. Now look at this, they really, really adhere to the rules here for COVID-19, even the dummies in the eyewear shop are practicing there. There you go, all got the masks on. The old bell here behind me and then walk up to uh, Valley Gardens now. Oh. Really really nice entrance like I say boating lake, children's play area, toilets in there as well because uh, if you get taken short a lot of places aren't open with the Covid-19 these were socially distant I think they'd tape the middle uh, toilets off. Right I'll cross over and just check this out. There you go, the free walking tour. That is what I was talking about. Check it out online. And uh, if you do it, let me know what it's like. Now I'm gonna go as far as the boating lake. This place is pretty big actually. It's quite a, a large uh, park area. You've got tennis, you've got crazy golf. I think you've got a golf course as well. I'm not sure you have to check that one out. Um, lots to do little ice cream bars, restaurants, you can have a coffee or a tea, there's a couple of little restaurants here as well, 
really nice. Come on, onwards. Okay, my friends, I think this bench here seems a great place to end the vlog. That was Harrogate in West Yorkshire, the Mayfair of the North. And uh, you can tell that by all the cars here. Plenty, plenty of uh, money around this area. Uh, one of the wealthiest towns, I believe, uh, in the north of England. Anyway, that's all from me today. Remember, like, subscribe, click that little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. Follow me on Instagram, which is down there. And if you want to get some MacMaster merchandise, you can get that down there as well. Follow me in the next vlog when I will be on the way back to Tenerife. I'm going to capture that journey all along the way. And also lots and lots of uh, content from Tenerife when I get over there. Anyway, that's all for today. See you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs> one other thing, by the way, Hales Bar here. I'm told this is the oldest pub in Harrogate. Hales Bar. Not sure they do a one euro pine but it's supposed to be really, really nice. Food hygiene rating of five, by the way. So that's the Hales Bar. Show you over the road shot.